I've been playing CCM music for a while, and CCM stands for Christian Contemporary Music, and I like it sometimes. The problem I have with it is that sometimes I find the chords a little bit simplistic or basic, and sometimes I want to give it a little bit more flavor. So if you're struggling with that same problem, today I'm going to give you three 2-5-1 passing chords that you could apply to Christian contemporary music or any style of music if you wish. Well, let's get right to the lesson. All right, guys, so what is a 2-5-1 progression? Let's look at the key of F major, all right? I'm going to play the F major scale for you, which is F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E. Right? Each major scale has seven notes and the first and the final note, which is the eighth note, are repeated. All right. So each of those notes has a corresponding number. F is one. G is two. A is three. B flat is four. C is five. D is six. And E is seven. And then we're back to one. Each of those notes and numbers have corresponding chords. So F or one always is a major chord. G two is always minor. E three is always minor. At B flat, sorry, I said E, that was A. B flat four is always major. C five is always major. D six is always minor and seven E is always diminished. Now we're talking about the two, five, one progression here. So let's not worry about the others. Let's just focus on two, which is G minor, C, which is C major, and then, or C is five, and then F, which is one or major. Okay, so two, five, one. Now we're gonna apply that going to, uh, in another key. So let's look at it in B flat major for a second, okay? So B flat major has seven notes. And we're and two is minor, five is major, which is F, and then one is major, okay? So two, five, one. Now we looked at this in F major and we looked at this in B flat major. For one, I want you to understand that it's important to transpose this in all of your keys. If you don't do that, you'll never really understand how to use the 251 to its fullest potential, okay? So now let's apply this in a song. So we're gonna apply this to the song 10,000 Reasons and we're gonna apply this in the part where we're singing Sing Like Never Before, all right? And so normally Sing Like Never Before goes like this. But we don't want to play it like that. What we're going to do is we're going to apply this 2-5-1 progression going to B flat, okay? So the 2-5-1 progression going to B flat is C minor, F, and G. And so we're going to do it like this. Sing like never before. All right? So now we have our first 2-5-1 progression that we could apply. Um, in music, okay? So, sing like never before. Now, we don't want to just stay at that basic triad level. We want to add some complexity to it. So, the second thing we would do is go ahead and add uh, sevens to it, major sevens and dominant sevens. So, here I'm going to play a C minor seven, okay? And C minor seven. B flat is my seventh. It's seven notes away from C. And I'm gonna move that B flat down here. Okay? It's just a voicing I like, all right? And then I'm gonna play an F7. Okay? And E flat is my seven because it's seven notes away from F, okay? And then I'm gonna play a B flat major seven. Right, and A is my seven because it's seven notes away from B flat, and I'm playing the A down here instead of up here. All right, so now we have sing like never before. All right, 
Now, that's exactly how I think you should understand it. That's not how I necessarily apply my voicings to it uh, because I I play it a little bit differently. I'm going to play it. I normally play it like this. And really, the only thing I do is move my B flat down to the A. And I keep the G in my right hand from that C minor 7 chord, which truly gives me an F9. All right. So we got our second 2-5-1 progression, which is adding some uh, major 7s and dominant 7s and, and minor 7s, all right? <clears throat> okay, so now let's get to the third one, which is adding some more complex extensions. So we're going to play a C minor 7 here, but I'm going to drop it down to the 6. We're going to play an, a F sharp 11 all right and then we're going to get to that b flat major chord b flat major seven but then we're going to drop it down to a dominant seven so we're going to have uh let's see Sing like never before. all right so that's a little bit more complex So I'm playing C minor 7, I'm bringing that B flat down to the A, I'm playing F9 here, and I'm dropping this C down to B flat if I play this C. Sometimes I don't even play it, but like this. And then I'm dropping on this B flat major 7, I'm dropping this A down to the dominant 7, okay? So C. So there you have three different 2-5-1 progressions that you could apply to your playing today. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like content like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you don't like content like this, go ahead and dislike it as well. I wanna know it. Leave a comment in the, in the comment section below.